That's right. I'm finally getting to it. I'm also catching a cold. <sighs> but yes, welcome to Zero Plays Oregon Trail Director's Cut. Alright, let's see. The music on here is incredibly loud. Like, when I first turned this on, there was actually an issue when I exited out of it, and it made it so it all went away. But it was up here, and my headphones are on max, and I thought my ears were gonna start bleeding. <laughs> it was bad. Very, very bad. Extras! Halloween mode. Alright, let's just get right into this. <laughs> yeah. Explain the difference in difficulty. Determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge at the start of your journey. It also affects the enemy difficulty and the event occurrences. You are rewarded for choosing a higher difficulty with a score modifier. Click anywhere to continue. Well, I suck at these games, so let's press normal. Click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. What the heck is he doing? This is weird. I'm gonna die. A lot. A lot, a lot. out of ammo. I just saved your bacon. I reckon you yeah. stayed a chance better out there to we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those in our days. What's your name, partner? My name? Well, you see, my name is Zero. Pleasure's on mine, Zero. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't have a survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Uh... Oh, there's, uh, Yuli. Uh... Fear, I guess, if one's getting really desperate. Syl, and I can't forget my husband, Shock. Are these the correct names? Yes. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they would be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Ah. WASD keys to move. How do I scavenge? This is fun. Oh, I walk into things. Alright. I think you've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC. And this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. You'll drive my car? Cool. Clemens has a broken arm. Why did he randomly break an arm? He's just gonna die. Clemens was bitten by a zombie. You're out of fuel. Well, Clemens. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in the nearby radio. Repeat. All survivors still remain in Washington, D.C. The government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. And we just went there. Peachy. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should scavenge up supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need for the trip. Pick the supplies you want to gather. Hours remaining, 12. Oh, let's check the journal. 
Clement's notes on fuel. You can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. I found that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so you can make it to you or your next destination. And even then, these suckers seem to get lost or stolen all the time. Medkits. Sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned medkit. They always seem to perk someone up when they're feeling down. I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better after I patched him up with one of these bad boys. Always a good idea to have a handful of these around for emergencies. Although most traders on the road don't find much value in paper money, there are still little pockets of civilization who cling to the old ways. I'd keep a, hundred on, a few hundred on me at any time so I can buy at least that I need at times get rough. Those merchants really have funny sense of value for the end times. You should be able to find money while scavenging. You will need to scavenge for scrap if your car breaks down. You can make some general repairs to your vehicle with all the scrap lying around. The more you have, the better chance it will stick. I usually just get repairs at the auto shops myself. It's pricey, but I'm no good with my hands. Scavenging is the easiest way to get food, other than all the zombies. Depending on the number of people in your group and how and how you ration your food, you will burn through your food at the rate of one to three ounces per person, per an hour. That means you would be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of five. The world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that America loves its guns because I can't ever seem to kill enough of these zombie bastards. You would be surprised how quickly you burn through them. I've easily gone through a few dozen rounds just scavenging for food. And if you ever find yourself surrounded, you better be packing. It's always good to have some spare car parts on you. You don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere and stand around waiting for someone who wants to trade whatever you got for a few what you need. I always carry a few extra batteries, tires, and mufflers on me. Don't leave them home without them. Do I want four tires? Two batteries. Um... Oh well, what the hell. Let's go for it. Your friends, join the party. Okay, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Bye, Clemens! I missed. Zero put down Clemens. Tweet about it! 230 miles to Pittsburgh. Stats. Alright, let's go. You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. Alright. You wait an hour while Syl vomits in the bushes. <laughs> Dang it, Syl! Zombie activity is very high in this area. Alright. You found an abandoned car, but there's nothing to be scavenged. Dang it! The moon! You only get shot by a stray bullet? Uh, how do I use stuff? Dang it! We're slowly approaching something. Look anywhere to continue. Pit's bag. Supplies. Zombie activity, deadly. Time is 10 p.m. Party. Medkit Yuli. Medkit will not cure being bit. Talk to a stranger. My family didn't scavenge enough food when we left. We've been eating very small rations since the East Coast because of our health is poor. My sister has mountain fever, so we're stopped here for a while. Seems to be doing okay. Our route. I was lucky to get out alive, but I dropped something precious to me in that horde of zombies. Difficulty suicide. 
was a massacre and one dead coming to our town. We hired guns needed. Payment one medkit. Yeah, no. Medkits, bullets, fuel. These scraps. Done. We can also sell stuff. For, like dirt. Um, scavenge. Scavenge instructions. Use WASD and the arrow keys. Pull back to aim, release to shoot. Okay. Dang it! What the heck? What is going on? Like, it, it's not working the way it says. Just saying. It's not working how they told me. attention the zombie activity was deadly did they get hurt how did they not get hurt that was a horrible no butter or cheese or ice cream since electricity went out bless me i don't think i can do without the much the comforts of modern age for longer <laughs> well activity's deadly here so let's see what's a uh, trade going on a survivor has nine of their dollars to offer you for three of your fuel no Okay. Let's see. What is the town and their pricing? Let's see. Yeah. Free fuel. I'm sorry, but heck no. Oh, shut up. Today's special mufflers. Rationing. The amount of food people in your party consumes each day will affect their health. Small, medium, and large portion sizes consume one, two, and three ounces of food per hour, respectively. I think we're good with medium. Combat training. You can learn new combat training techniques for scavenging in small towns at the combat trainer. There is no combat training. Scavenge, trade, rationing. Oh, damn. Super deadly. People are feeling a lot better. Sure, cause of this. If it were a virus, how did it spread so fast? And why are we immune? Are we immune? No, we're not. Activity's high, not deadly. I could try that again. I'm running around like an idiot. Let's do it. Why not? Oh, 
dang it. Well, scavenging, you've been injured. Whoops. I walked, like, right into that. Been injured, but... Not fit. Oh, rest doesn't cure injuries, right. Done. My bad. We should probably get going, guys. I wasted time. Cross a horde of zombies in order to continue the road. The horde in front of you is currently moderate in size, but appears to be ravenous. Or size moderate. Disposition ravenous. Wait to see if it disperses. Break out your guns and clear a path. Attempt to sneak through. Get information about your choices. You can attempt to sneak through the horde. If the zombies aren't very aggressive looking, you might be able to slow they drive through them without drawing their attention. You can also fight your way through. You will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. A large and angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. If there are mercenaries nearby, they might be willing to protect you for a nominal fee as you pass through the horde. Let's wait. Small and agitated. And let's see, it was attempt to sneak through if they aren't very aggressive looking. You can also fight your way through. Uh, they're small and aggressive. So let's clear our path. before you. Would you like to stop and take a look? Yes. I love it. He lived. He died. He lives again. Now he is hungry. <laughs> that was odd. Your batteries start making a strange noise, but appear to still be working. Find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Slowly driving. The mall. Left to die. How's the party looking? Ah, oh, they need rest. Talk to stranger. Barter, take extra medical supplies. Better take extra. Trade them to survivors for rations. It's well worth hiring mercenaries at major cities. Expect to pay them. They're sharp traders, not easy che cheated. Combat training, none. A grizzled stranger beckons to you. Dark corner and offers to teach you some useful techniques for $80. I have to hundred more ounces of food from scavenging. I would love to, but I don't have that much money. Jobs. Bendis, there's a group of hostile folk who hold up in a nearby building. I think they mean to take over. Difficulty suicide. breaks or get stolen, you won't be going anywhere. I wouldn't go anywhere with less than 20 cans. Well, I do have less than 20 cans! <laughs> Nothing for sale. Let's 
scrap of dollar. It's 11 ammo for. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's scavenge. Obnoxious. We're resting for an hour. Hi, dang it. Well, this place is deadbeat. Let's leave. Let's go. 